For the Tampa Bay Rays, it will be left-hander Ryan Yarborough looking to get back on track, making his 21st start of the season. Another 2-2, two -two, and that's a liner to right for a base hit. Ground ball, deep third, diving backhand is stopped by Diaz. Looked to second, stopped, didn't have a grip through to first, pulled Choi. It'll be a base hit for Scope. That's a break for the Tigers. Diaz made a great diving stop. I think he might have gotten Badu at second, or maybe he saw Badu was so close to second that he then pulled the ball down. 2 2 pitch. He got it, caught the corner, says Junior Valentine. Grossman not happy with that call. That was a parting word. He thought it was wide and is out number one. Ground ball, deep short, stopped by Wendell. Throw to third, got him. Diaz just got that foot on the bag ahead of Badu. He thinks he might have gotten in there, but the call made by Jerry Meals down at third base, and the Tigers will not have that looked at. Two outs, and here comes Jamer Candelario. The 1 0. That is pounded. Deep center field. Back yeah. goes Phillips, and that is gone. A home run for Jamer Candelario. Mad power to center field. It's a three-run bomb. Jared Scoobel was outstanding his last time out, making his 27th start of the season. Low on the ground to Jonathan Scope. Three ground ball outs and ten pitches for Tarek Scoobel to start this Saturday afternoon. Good start for the Tigers offensively. There's yeah. a shot down the left field line. That ball is gone! A solo bullet off the bat of Dustin Garneau. He continues his red hot extra base hitting streak. He's got home run number five. He's the one that's setting the tone, not me. Ground ball is going to go through the left side between Goodrum and Candelario. Little leadoff single for Margot. Who blow the DH? He has 10 home runs. Everybody else in double figures as well. There's a high fly ball back into left. Badu's going to watch it sail. That one is gone. That's home run number 11. Well, the Rays for the first time have everybody in the lineup in double figures and home runs. And Luplo has not hit them all in a Rays uniform, but that's a big one for him there to cut the deficit in half. The Reese on a fielder's choice scored on the Candelario home run in the first inning. Takes this one into right. That ball is charged by Margot. He got it. Margot. Charging in, makes a sliding catch. That ball started to dive on him out there, and he got there to make the crab. Yep. What a catch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how it could be anybody else. I agree. Fly ball into left center, going to fall for a base hit, a big hop in front of Hill. Big turn there by Rosarena at first. And he's aboard with a two out single. There he goes. And it's fouled away. Candelaria. He's got, got it. Room. And he puts it away. Big out for Terry Scoobel. 2 2 pitch. In the center field. Phillips will go back. Still on the move. Still going. Gets there at the track and makes the catch. Phillips hit the deck on the track. Makes up that knee a little bit, but he makes the grab and gets a tip of the cap from Ryan Yalbro. And he'll turn it over now to Jose Arena. Another hit for Luplo. Beats it. Center field. Margot's going to go to third. And the Rays will put men on the corners. Luplo after the first pitch. And the Rays with the major threat already. Ground ball. Right side. Out at second. And out at first. The Rays will get the run. 4 6 3 on that double play as Margot crosses the plate, making it 4 to 3. Puts down the bunt. Yarbrough off the mound. Barehanded pickup and that underhanded toss. And Choi is hurt. And I think that Valentine is going to call Hill out for running outside the runner's lane. He is down. And Choi trying to walk off that uh, discomfort in the hand. And Hill is down back of first and he will be attended to by the Detroit trainer. So he'll be helped into the cart. So the bases are empty for Manuel Margot. 1-0.
Ground ball. That's fair. Inside the bag at first. Up the line. Margot's going to turn it on. Heading for second. And he is safe. He got that hand in before the tag. And on the ground, Willie Castro throws him out. Austin Meadows first pitch swinging and Willie Castro was positioned well for Detroit in the shift to keep it a one run Tigers lead as we head to the center. Sharply hit nice stop loud up and out with the throw to retire Castro one two three we go to the bottom of the seventh innings and now a swing and a miss the ball gets away. Zanino is out, but the runner at first moves to second. So Zanino strikes out, and Garneau had that ball pop away from him. And Choi winds up at second base. And so Phillips is at first, and Choi at second. Now Yandy Diaz sends one to deep left field. Damn. Grossman has got it. And a long out for Yandy Diaz, who just missed it, ends the seventh. A Rosarena taps it in front. Garneau, Great nice play. play. Boy, that's getting out of the box quick for Dustin Garneau. No play at all there for Funkhauser. That's all going to be on the catcher. He's got to react immediately. And I mean, as soon as a Rosarena was going, so was Garneau. It's a great play, great throw. High drive, base hit off the 0-2 pitch. 0-2 fastball, and Margot took it right back through the middle for his third hit of the day on for the fourth time. And he shoots it the other way into left. He has a base hit. That pushes Margot up to second. The Meadows not wasting any time. Serves that one the other way. And the Rays have two men on with two men out. The 1-2. Jammed it, popped it up, left side. Candelario, foul territory, he's got it. And a huge out recorded there by Kyle Funkhauser. It's all about Michael Fulmer right now, looking for his 10th save of the season. It's over. Three, two, did he go? He did not, and there's a walk. And Wendell is hit by that pitch. Now he'll face Yandy Diaz. First pitch swinging on the ground. Get it. There's Get it. one to Goodrum. Get it. The double yeah. play turned, and the Tigers hold on and beat them 4 3.